Hello my friends to so this beautiful place here in Thailand, Koh Samui. In this short video I will show you 10 tips to bring your smartphone videography to the next level. So here we go! So first tip. Get an app where you can handle all the camera settings manual, like exposure, shutter speed, white balance, ISO and so on. For me, I use Filmic Pro, but you need to pay for it, so another app that's free is Open Camera, also a great app, which I used before. So because it's raining very much, let's go inside. So because it's raining more and more and more, we are now inside to get this video done. So second tip, frame rate. So choose which frame rate you want to, 24, 25, 30, 60, it's totally up to you. And stick to it the whole video. Sure you can multiply it and reduce it later to make it slow motion or something like this. But for the first, stick to it for the video and get used to it. After you choose your frame rate, you should fit your shutter speed to the frame rate, show that it doubles the frame rate. So if you record at 24 FPS, your shutter speed should be 48 or 50, that's what's nearest to it. Or if you shoot at 60 FPS, set your shutter speed to 120 and so on and so on. So third tip, choose your exposure, white balance and focus for your scene and lock it. It's very easy if you use the Filmic Pro app because you have this little circle that you can move around and set to a specific point and then it automatically locks ISO, shutter speed, exposure and white balance to this specific point for the whole scene. And you have this little quadrat which you can move around and set to the point where you want the camera to focus and then it's also automatically locked. That's why I recommend to get the Filmic Pro app because it's so easy to work with it. Tip number four. Think about your video before actually recording it. Yes, it sounds very simple, but you should give it a try. Think about your video and try to create a story, because if you have a story, it's much more easy for your audience to catch your point and to follow your video. So tip number five. Use different perspectives. So set up your camera high, set it low, set it left, set it right. Maybe get a wide angel length that you can really easily put on your smartphone to create this uh, wide angel look. So play with it and be creative. I put your link for the smartphone wide lens into the description. It's only 30 or 40 bucks, so you should give it a try. Next tip is get an external microphone. The microphones from smartphones are not the best if you want to create high quality audio. So I have two options here. One is the Rode VideoMic MA. You can easily put it in your smartphone and then you have a boom mic in it and you also get this windshield and just put it over and then you have great quality audio without wind noises. I use this microphone for the first scenes. So another option is a lavalier microphone. You can easily put it into your smartphone or into an external audio device like this that you can put into your pocket and you are safe and have great audio for the whole video. Tip number seven, get something to stabilize your videos. No one wants to see all this shaky kind of footage. Try to get some clean footage. So for this you can get monopod, tripod, stabilizer, gimbal, something that you already have or something that you want to buy. If you don't have, you can maybe get something of this, a gorilla pod. There are also some smaller gorilla pods for phones outside. Or if you already have something like a monopod or tripod or something like this, you can very easily use it for your smartphone. Just buy a little smartphone adapter like this things, then you can easily put it onto your tripods and then you have a smartphone tripod. Tip number eight, make your stills moving. So what do I mean with it? See. If you watch my intro, it was totally recorded with my smartphone using a tripod and the Filmic Pro app, nothing more. No other one who helped me, only me, the tripod and my smartphone. So I recorded all in 4K and now uploaded it in 1080p. So I have lots of room to play with it. So sometimes I started in top and moved it downwards or started left and moved it to the right. All this can be done really easily in Adobe Premiere Pro or Adobe After Effects. Maybe I show it to you in another video. Let me know in the comments if you want to know how this can be done. So tip number nine, get your time to find the best fitting music for your video. Sometimes it only takes three or four minutes, then you have a great song. 
but sometimes, like in my Denmark travel video, I search for four or five hours to get the song for the intro because I try to find some epic music that's not too fast, not too slow, not too loud and has some, some nice curves so that I can play with video around. So sometimes it really takes time, but it's really worth it. So for me, I'm signed to Epidemic Sound and for a small monthly fee, you can get all this free stuff in music and sound effects and so on and so on. But if you don't want to pay something, you can also use SoundCloud, there are some free songs. So go out and try to find a song that really fits to your video. So last tip for today, if you have your music, cut to your music. So your music goes up, goes down, up, down, maybe sometimes slower, sometimes faster. And try to fit your video to this music, like you want to have a music video or something like this. So really cut to the music, sometimes to the beat, and it will be awesome. So just a quick bonus tip before getting to the pool. Watch your favorite movies, TV series and YouTubers and analyze them. Analyze which music they use, how they cut, how they color grade, which positives they use, um, how they set the focus and so on and so on and so on. And maybe try it in your own videos. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you got something out of it. Like the video if you like it, dislike if you didn't and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit also the bell so that you get informed when I upload my next video about filmmaking, photography or travel. And check also the links in the description. I put you some of the gear I used into the description. So, have a nice day. See you soon. Bye!